Hello, welcome back. So we are going to continue with our discussion about budget. So master budget basically is interrelate interrelationship in, for a service industry. You can see here this this is our service industry. For example, for for the cleaning companies, yeah. So they provide services. So you need to budget prepare the budget for your income first. And then number two will be your expenses. And then what are the items, new items that you need to buy, new machine, for example, that will be the number three. And then you're going to prepare your cash schedules, yeah? Cash schedules, money in and money out. And then from there, you're going to prepare your budgeted income statement and budgeted balance sheet. So this is the, the normal process. First, you're going to set the target. Target revenue. Target revenue. When you have this target revenue, then you prepare your, your expenses to accommodate this, this goal. Yeah, this target revenue, target revenue. So how much you're going to spend for all the labor uh, material. No, no, this is service for the labor basically. And if you need any new equipment, that will be your capital expenditure. So this is how it start with the target revenue or goals yeah so for manufacturing is more complicated it's more complicated this is where we're going to focus a lot budgeting for manufacturing entity is more complicated than for retail or for service industry why because we manufacture goods so the manufacturing entity follow essentially the same budgeting cycle as service entity but there are many processes involved for production costs to produce thing. For example, if you want to sell, produce, sell maybe 100,000 unit, this is in term of unit, so you must produce how much you're going to produce. How much you're going to produce? Manufacture. You're talking about the direct labor. You're talking about the hours, employees, hours. Talking about the machine. Yeah, with additional expense incurred about the storage, so many things interconnected with the production cycle. So this is the complexity of the manufacturing entity. But don't worry, it's going to be to be easy. Yeah, Mr. Yusra will cover part of it. For example, when you come up with your sales 100,000 units, that will be in terms of dollar, it can be in terms of unit, it can be in terms of dollar. So this will be number one. And number two question will be how much you need to produce. Yeah, if you want to produce this, you cannot produce 90,000. Certainly, you have to produce more than 100,000. So, there are components here. You need your material, you need to budget for your material, for your labor, for the factory overhead. Yeah, maybe you need to buy a new machine as well, capital expenditure, a new machine. And then, how you're going to sell this 100,000. So the sales and selling and distribution departments also need to prepare their, their budget. So this is very a bit complex compared to the retail or service industry. For non-profit organization, it is much easier for club, for charitable body. Normally, they only prepare the cash flow, the cash in as well as cash out. Okay, donation received and how you're going to distribute that money to the poor, to the needy. Yeah, For government entity, they also prepare budget. The government source of income normally come from tax. Most of the country come from tax. The employment tax, the corporate tax, the excise, the duty, that will be the main income for the government. Yeah? Except maybe in UAE, you are working here you are not paying any 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 tax any employment tax but you're working in other countries certainly you have to pay a big sum of money big chunk of your pay go to the tax department because that will be the main source of revenue for government that that's the beauty of working in uae because you don't pay any single dollar for employment tax okay so the government from from all this money received all this money collected 
the government will spend the money for a lot of things for for the hospital for the infrastructure for the educations for the environments okay so all a lot of activities for the safety for the military so all this need budget all this need budget so every year the government will prepare their budget okay the most important aspect in budgeting as i mentioned earlier that is about sales forecast sales or income forecast this is number one activity so the forecast in hour of service provided or in a unit sold provide the basis for preparing an income or sales budget we're going to use this sales forecast to predict our cash receipt from the sale for example 90 percent is on cash basis so we're going to collect cash 90 percent and 10 percent will be received later for example and constructing a variety of expense budget so this is the most critical part that is to come up with your forecasted sales unless a business entity has a large number of unfilled order that guarantee a high consistent demand for its product and services forecasting is complicated by the uncertainty of the future by the uncertainty of the future so a combination of several methods can be used to forecast income sales so how are we going to forecast your future sales number one is by the prediction made by the marketing staff number two is by the senior management number three is by using some mathematical or statistical technique or formula to help you to predict your future sales Normally, the best person to know about it is the marketing staff because they are very close to the customer, to the market. They know the changes in demand and they can see the trend in sales. So they are the, the person who closely relates to the sale. For example, I can say now, for example, for the past one and a half year, we don't travel much, except me. <laughs> yeah, we don't travel much, yeah? Uh, most people stay at home yeah yeah i did travel several times back to malaysia yeah i did travel a lot yeah but most of the people they just stay at home because there are government uh, regulations or, or control that does not allow you to leave the country or whatever reason or maybe of safety reason health reason so it's a collapse it's a, a total loss for most of the hotels most of this uh, tourism industry but now, with the, the end, I can say the end, or we are moving to the endemics of COVID, yeah? You can see that many, the number of cases of COVID in UAE is very low, yeah? I read the news, it's only 100, 100 plus, yeah, yesterday, with no death, all right? So this is very good. People start coming to, to Dubai for the expo, so you can see that the demand for the hotel, for the service industry, for taxis, for transportation, increase significantly. So by looking at this trend, you can come up with your forecast, a good forecast of your sales or income. Yeah? But if the problem continue, so you need to revise your, your forecast. Okay. Next is we're going to prepare the operating and financial budget for service industry. How are we going to do that? Preparing operational budget for service entity is simpler than for retail or manufacturing because service entity need to calculate only budgeted service income. Yeah, the budgeted service income. They don't produce anything. The remainder of the master budget process, including expand budget, capital expenditure, cash budget, and all these are similar with other entities. Yeah? For service industry, we need to determine our income budget, our income, eh, the level of activity, the level of service that we are going to provide to our customers. And the second one will be the expense, how much we're going to spend in order to provide that kind or that level of service services. Yeah. Okay. And we need to prepare the budgeted income statement, compare our uh, budgeted revenue with budgeted expenses. So this is how it works. We need to determine whether we're going to make profit or we're going to make loss in the future. So this is very critical part. Another thing is about capital expenditure. I did mention when we want to produce certain number of unit or we want to provide certain level of services to our client, there is one question raised. 
whether you need additional equipment or not, whether you need additional machine or not. If you need to buy a new equipment, a new machine, new assets, that will fall under capital expenditure. So capital expenditure budget include in the master budget shows the acquisition, yeah, the purchase of facility and equipment plan for the periods. Yeah, in order to achieve your goal, to achieve the target production, maybe you need some new equipment. So you need to put that new equipment in your capital expenditure budget. And then uh, the most important thing is your cash budget. Cash budget, normally we do it monthly. We want to see the money in, money out for every month. What is the balance for everyone? We want to make sure we have adequate balance. Yeah, adequate balance, but not excessive. We, do, we don't want to have too much cash in our bank account. So that is not good because you can use that cash for other investment. You can put it in the fixed deposit, in other <coughs> investments such as unit trust, yeah, mutual funds that give you returns. So the important about cash budget is to make sure you have adequate cash at any point of time because you need cash to pay your expenses, pay your bills, pay your loan and so on. But you don't, we don't have we don't want to have excessive cash because that will be uh, uh, a poor investment decision because cash will not generally give you any return. So you have to invest the cash to other to other saving or or investment, maybe mutual fund or fixed deposit in that case. Then from that we are going to prepare our budgeted balance sheet. Budgeted balance sheet. We already have our income statement, so the next one will be the budgeted balance sheet. It's going to be easy yeah you have to prepare your sale your revenue your expenses your purchase of new asset your cash your income statement budget income statement and the last part will be the budgeted budgeted balance sheet, budgeted balance sheet. okay okay let us move to operating budget for retail and manufacturing entity the only budget that differ between a retail and manufacturing are uh, that relates to the cost of sale. For retail industry, they purchase their goods from the supplier and then the same good will be sold to our customer, to the customers. So we are going to have this cost of sale, budgeted cost of sales, purchase in terms of unit, in terms of dollar, and then we have cost of sales. Okay, uh, one for manufacturing company, we produce things, we manufacture, we assemble, yeah. So we need directly material, we need component, we need parts, we need labor, okay, labor, and we also need some some support, yeah, from other other resources, other labor from the supervisors, yeah, production managers and some factory equipment so this uh, maintenance for this factory equipment so this fall under factory overhead budget so i did mention last week that about the formula for manufacturing we need to determine the cost of goods manufactured hope you can still remember that cost of goods manufactured so this involves various activity we have the direct labor direct material factory overhead so that help you to identify your cost of goods manufactured we need to know our we have three types of inventory for manufacturing still remember three types of inventory can you type in, in the chat box what is the three types of inventories number one is finished good number two WIP work in progress and number three is your raw Material. So you have to prepare budget for all these th three types of inventory. So it may cover sales budget for retail and manufacturing, purchase budget, cost of sale budget, production budget, direct material budget for manufacturing entity. Okay. For direct labor, okay, how many hours we need? Yeah, the factory overhead, the cost of sale and operating budget for retail and manufacturing entity so there are many things yeah for for selling and distribution you also need some budget there how much you're going to spend for our advertising 
for promotion for pamphlets yeah administration about the administration about the, the support staff about the managers yeah as well as finance and other expense okay, if you borrow money from the bank you have to prepare budget about the payment how much interest you're going to pay when you're going to pay the principal plus the interest how much you are going to pay every month to the bank so this is what we call as finance budget okay and then also not, not forget that at the end of the day you're going to prepare the budgeted income statement yeah and budgeted balance sheet this is just a repetition on that so so is it okay yes <laughs>